And by far the best thing from the show was actually Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch's promo exchange. I thought Bianca did a fantastic job on the microphone talking down Becky Lynch. And I think some of that was directed to Charlotte from the incident on Friday that was transference of shade. But it does lead into our first big topic of the day in that we saw a match a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw featuring Bianca Belair versus then Raw Women's Champion Charlotte Flair. It was a great 20 plus minute match that ended via disqualification. Now, considering the issues between Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch heading into Survivor Series, the one night for brand supremacy that we all hate deep down because it means absolutely nothing. But here is the dual question. Due to what happened, do you foresee a title swap to avoid this combustible element in Brooklyn? Or do you see a clean finish with either a Becky Lynch win or Bianca Belair scoring the upset? Do you buy or sell one, none, or both of these things happening heading into Monday? So, CJ, the question goes to you first. What do you want to see happen? Okay. The, the belt swap segment, just quickly, is one of the best things that's happened in WWE all year because it's real life tension. It's, it's all that. It's great. I think we'll get a clean finish with Becky retaining because you would be foolish not to do this Charlotte and Becky match at Survivor Series now after that. It's a story that's got some real life heat to it and... They'll be fine working the match. Like, if Matt Hardy and Edge could work together, these two can work together. This was, you know, this is nothing like that. I absolutely think... <sighs> okay, I did. I think I just said clean finish. Maybe they'll do a shitty DQ. I could definitely see them doing that to protect... To protect Belair in a way, but it's just going to piss everyone off. So, Becky with a DQ or a count out, like, it won't be a clean finish by any means for the Survivor Series matchup with Becky and Charlotte is what I'm predicting. All right, Scott, what's your take? Man, I, I think I'm going in the opposite way. I, I can't see them doing this to us again with Bianca Belair. I, I think Bianca gets the big win and she pulls off the upset and beats Becky Lynch and becomes champion. You know, I, it should have happened a couple weeks ago. They had a moment with Charlotte Flair and the crowd was ready for it on Raw for Bianca to win that title. And I, I just... It would be foolish of them. Like it would just be foolish of them to do that twice. And 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 CJ's probably right. Unfortunately, like it's probably going to be a silly DQ. But I'm going to go with my gut, man, and, and think they're just going to be smart enough to pull the trigger right here and create a big moment, not only on Raw but for Bianca Belair going forward. And then you can get back to that Bianca Charlotte matchup at Survivor Series and give her another big win over Charlotte at Survivor Series. That's two huge wins right there back to back. You've really built her up in a span of two months. So they have a great opportunity in front of them. And I, I, I know the history says they probably won't, but I'm going to go with my gut and say Bianca Belair becomes the new Raw Women's Champion. I am with Scott's line of thinking in that two weeks ago, I was so excited for Bianca and Charlotte and it was such a great match and I was incredibly upset with the finish because I invested 20 minutes of my life and I got nothing out of it so I saw we saw what Becky and Bianca did at Extreme Rules a great match with a bullshit finish that made me sad but at the time I understood it because I said but triple threat at Crown Jewel so here we are we are a few weeks away from Survivor Series title changes are not impossible this time of year it's heightened because of the Charlotte Flair situation but quite honestly Bianca Belair has had a fantastic year ever so close twice against Becky Lynch in the span of a month or two and here is the chance to really crown her as the champ something that could have happened a couple of weeks ago but I just want a clean decisive finish I cannot take another DQ. I think I'll cry if it happens because they work so incredibly hard. You invest your time and your energy and then you get bullshit. And that makes you so sad and depressed. And I think about the kendo stick element because that was a nice piece of business to use a weapon. And I hope they make this some kind of weapons match. No DQ. Maybe it's a street fight. Something to add a bit of gravitas towards this championship match to give them an out if they choose to protect Bianca Bell layer via a loss because Becky will ultimately use a weapon to cheat to win even though it's well within the rule. So they got what? 
24, 48 hours to make up their mind with a sip on Monday Night Raw. But I'm here for a, a I'm here for Bianca Belair win, but I don't expect it. All I care about is honestly a clean finish because it'll be better than another GQ or a count out at this point. I think it would hurt Bianca to not have some type of finish. And if, like you said, if if she is going to lose, she needs to go out like a champ. Like she needs to take two or three finishes and maybe even some type of big table spot or something and then get pinned. She, you know, it, it ha- she needs to be protected. Like Bianca is a, a superstar. Like that's the type of potential she's realizing in front of our eyes. Like she's literally becoming this. And I think anything less than a title win here really hurts her. So you got to be very careful what they do here. A title win would just be a huge, huge momentum builder and moment for her. And like you said, she's had a great year. What better way to cap it off than to beat the man who she's already lost to twice? She can't lose to her a third time.